Hey guys, welcome to Group Talk Commander. This is Jared, and we're back from a, a very long hiatus. Um, I'm going to try to get more videos up. Uh, I, I built a new Commander deck today. Uh, you've seen my Grenzo, uh, my Grenzo Tiny Leader deck. So this this right here is um, my this is my Grenzo uh, EDH deck. So I built uh, this, this very fun Grinzo EDH deck, and oh, sorry, let me pop this here. Go a little fast there. Okay, so uh, we're up against a, an elf deck, right? So we have Missouri, and Grinzo, he's super fun. So what he does, so he enters battlefield X counters on it, and you pay two mana to put the bottom card of your library in your graveyard. You switch card power less or equal to Grinzo's power, and you put it in the battlefield. So this deck is everything is two or two and under. It's not goblins either. We're playing relentless rats. So in the graveyard, every relentless rats is two power. So you drop down Grenzo, and then all you do is just pay two and then storm the field with a thousand billion rats. It's pretty. It's a very fun deck. There's a lot of good synergies. Uh, flavor, uh, flavor of the hate brown is very good, which we never really use. And we're up against a, a fast elf deck. Um, they're having Azuri as their commander. He's very overrunny, <laughs> super powerful. But I had a fun game. You know, I, I try to do live games, but this game was pretty fun. This is like my third game pl playing with this deck, so I was still testing it out. I didn't really want to get any, you know, recorded games until you know at least I knew how the deck was supposed to run. But this is just a really cool, some really cool interactions. So the first couple turns was wasn't all that uh, exciting. He, he's ramped out as an elf deck should. Cast a Zuri right on time. Turn two for an elf deck. And me, I, I'm kind of drilling in my lands. So I got Thine Glaciers, you know, so I'm just kind of trying to get build my mana base before he kills me. So he's mana ramping just like an elf deck would, you know. We don't need to hear all the sound effects, do we? So I can find glaciers. I'll grab a, a mountain, or sorry, swamp, so I'm able to cast my relentless rats. I finally cast Grenzo, and I have two mana open to use Grenzo's ability. So he gains life, and then I wonder if he's gonna use Christ too. So he texts, I guess he was kind of banking that I wasn't going to use the ability, or that I was going to gonna brick. So before blocks, I'll, I grenzoed up my rat and happily trade traded my rat for his commander. That was a trade I was not sad to see. So if I have a rat, rat in hand, I'll usually do my cast my rat because it's a guaranteed I'm going to hit rather than use it, use the ability. So he casts his commander once again. And he swings in there for damage. I draw another rat. Play said rat. And then hold the mana for Thorn Glaciers. Now this is a bit of a problem. Because my rats can be a lot bigger than elves, but when he, when he's swinging in there and all his attack creatures have death touch, it does cause it's it's problematic. So I can't really trade, I mean, I can't really overpower his guys without without trading if he's tacking in. So I cast Mana Echoes, because I'm pretty sure he's going to pretty much kill me. He has plenty of mana, mana for days, um, with, you know, his shrine. So I got Mana Echoes. Mana Echoes is a bonkers card with Grenzo, uh, especially if you're playing tribal of any kind. Mm -hmm. So whenever a creature in the battlefield add colors mana to my mana pool equal to that creature's 
each of the equal to the creatures I control that share the creature type. So I threw down, threw down a rat, and got three mana for it. It's colorless, so I couldn't really cast another rat. So I used Grenzo's ability and bricked. I think I got it was a land in my graveyard. So I'm kind of afraid right now. I'm afraid that uh, he's going to kill me this turn. Sorry, let's clean this up. So he's tapping mana. He gets the Lord out. So you can tap. So you got ten mana with the shrine. Something he's just gonna overrun and kill me. I'm at 34 life. I don't want to use at all possible. I don't want to lose these because then I I lose all my mana I can get from shrine and I lose all the mana I can get from echoes. So I'm just hoping that he can get me out. Like even if I did the math and he get me down to one, I would I'd be happy. So for some reason, so he casts. He cast the the um, the god of the hunt, uh, but he only swung in. He overran and only swung in for one, for one creature for six damage. So I'm not sure why he wasted his mana. He could have put all his mana into the overrun, overran another time. You know, swung in. It basically forced me to block, and I start losing all my rats. But um, he chose not to. All right, so I'm just going to push play because a lot of stuff's going to go on. So now I have mana echoes and lots of mana to, to start my chain. So I threw down, I cast my Relentless Rat because it's a guaranteed rat. And I still have two mana open, as you can see, so I can use a Shrine. So I got four mana. I want to use Grenzo as much as possible before I use a Shrine because I use all the, you know, I'm have, I should have a ton of devotion to black. My whole plan is to get bigger and bigger and hopefully just swing in with my, you know, with four rats and get enough rats so if he does overrun a bunch of times, I have enough blockers that I can trade and he, he, he wouldn't be able to attack me efficiently. So I'm getting ma mass and mass of mana. I'm breaking a few times, but that's fine because I have enough mana to just keep on going. And the cool, so I got Gary, um, which is super, super sweet. So I, I kind of want to, oh, Jesus, annoying. So I put Gary on the very bottom of the stack, and I keep on digging for more rats. So by the time it resolves, I'm going to have a huge devotion count. Keep plugging in there. And I still have the shrine, which I can use at any time to get mass amounts of mana and keep, the, keep it going. And this guy's a trooper. He's just hanging out with watching me do all this cool stuff. He's probably thinking since I only have three creatures and don't, apparently no trample. That he's not that afraid, but uh, we'll see what happens. Even though Gary's on there. Let's keep on getting lots of mana. Look at that, 50, 57 mana, 59 mana. It's ridiculous. Tons of uh, lands, but that's fine. My rats are what? 16, 16s right now? 17, 17s? So use Pilgrim. Uh oh, hope it didn't bug out on me. No, we're good. Got a light in my hand. And Disciple of Bolas, uh, I think, so I used, so I got Disciple of Bolas out, and I just sacrificed Anger to Disciple of Bolas. So I gained two life, drawn two cards, and now all my creatures have haste. So by the time this resolved, uh, the cool thing is, so I, so I, I, I could have kept them going, and just, all I need is one more, or two more rats to actually just kill him with, uh, with Gary. But I decided not to, because then I had Hasty, there's no way he can, he can survive. I just really wanted to swing for damage. So I let the resolve. I swung in, and he was negative 276 life. So that was a lot of fun. That was a fun game. Um, Grenzo, Grenzo is going to be very, very fun. I think I'm going to try to get some games with the four-player four player games, and 
this is this is a very steamrolling deck. I mean, yeah, the Mana Echoes is a cool combo, but it's not necessary. It's not like I'm going to, you know, that's the only way I can win is with Mana Echoes. It's just, when you win, you win big. Um, just having Grenzo out and able to use his ability, you know, fill the yard and, and get lots and lots of stuff. So it's pretty cool. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Grenzo, let me know. Um, we're going to try to get more videos up, uh, maybe some double heads. We, we don't know. We're, we're still trying to. I, I got a brand new job, or sorry, my I've been at the new Walmart store for three months now as my new, as I, since I got promoted, and uh, it's been pretty busy, so, uh, but we're trying to get more videos out to you guys, and hope you enjoy them, okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe, share all your videos, all our videos.